Hello, 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 hello. <laughs> What's up? Okay, I am here under the rhododendron tree that is blooming right now. There are homeless people on the street hollering. <laughs> blooming and blooming and blooming and it is absolutely abundant 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 gorgeous and amazing is this it's amazing and there's my baby doggy yes I'm gonna show the horse here also very nice very nice, very nice, very nice, very nice, very nice, very nice, very nice. Yes, this is gorgeous. Oh yeah, it's gorgeous here. Okay, so there is a lady in Ecuador. Her name is Doña Esperanza. And her channel is Ecuador Live. And I've been binge watching her videos because they are so, so relaxing and calming for the nerves. She is an energy healer and she does flower and plant energy healing on people and massaging people in a most beautiful, relaxing way and watching her and she's praying in Spanish while she's doing this to the infinite cosmos of course she doesn't call and um, she's coming from the Catholic religion she probably says um, Guadalupe or something you know? so praise to Guadalupe the blue god doesn't care what he's called <laughs> He says, I, you can call me Guadalupe, I don't care, you know, but obviously Guadalupe was the mother of Jesus Christ and that is not a god, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, okay, that's just, that's actually, sorry to say it, <laughs> I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get hate for that, she's a stagnator soul, you know, so I know this personally. <laughs> <laughs> from personal experience but I love her infinitely much you know so everyone is where they are okay so Philip Jones is a stagnator as well too there's nothing wrong with that okay that just means you are stranded <laughs> but it, it feels like you're stranded but you're really not stranded okay, it just feels like it it feels like stagnation, but it's not stagnation, even if not much comes out of an existence, you know, of calling pe telling people to commit suicide. It's, <laughs> that's what a stagnator soul does. Uh, sorry, it is what it is, you know. Humble the heck down and face what you're doing, okay? And face who you are and where you are at on that journey of soul development, okay? So, your parents are not many gods and neither is Guadalupe and neither is Jesus Christ, okay? Jesus Christ is a bit more advanced. He is, he came back in many, many different lifetimes as dogs, as women, as men, many different existences, okay? And he had a lot of lifetimes behind him and that's why he is an indigo soul okay and he wants to make the world a better place but he's been starkly misunderstood by a lot of people you know he didn't even want a religion coming out of he was a philosopher actually yes he was he was one of the Essene philosophers out there in Jerusalem at the Red Sea okay and they had a temple there for the Essenes that was a school for philosophy okay? that was not a religious institution that was not meant to dictate over anyone or 
or guru anyone okay that was there to inspire people to educate people on the ancient philosophers and what they had to say and so on and I heard that he himself has gone to Buddhist monks and studied under them and when he came back at age 30 to Jerusalem what he had to say was pulling the rug out from under people's feet which got him a lot of friends and a lot of, even though that was hard on people but they they knew in the back of their heads that he was right that this was true that we cannot move forward if we view the world in dualistic ways okay dualism means me here you there as some some sort of doer means duo means two means we are split apart means we are we are not a unit or we're that's almost like the like we're so sort of like like we're in some kind of conflict okay so and that is not how we move things forward through a conflict I'm telling you straightforward what I think about you Philip I tell you I tell everyone how what I think I tell Danny what I think from the higher perspective when I feel good I can say I love all of you infinitely much you know you're like my little teddy bears <laughs> that I want to protect but you know because you're like little toddlers in adult male form which is dangerous 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 because you can cause a lot of damage you can cause a lot of hardship in the world with gang mentality and dualistic ways of viewing things and and jealousy and getting angry and wanting to retaliate against innocent people okay so retaliation is completely wrong it's completely unethical okay not not even <laughs> if someone did something to you that that you that hurt you or something retaliation is is war okay don't do it you can do self-defense that's different okay that's acting in the very moment okay if somebody someone hurts you wants to hurt you you have to protect yourself you have to protect your loved ones D but don't go over there like a week later and throw a bomb into their house don't do it okay that's called retaliation and that's war and that causes more conflict and more war and more violence we need to understand right now that this cannot continue anymore. Okay, so I recommend to you to watch the videos by Donia Esperanza. They will help you calm down your mind. Okay, my videos also help calm down the mind, but I always <laughs> add <laughs> some politics and I add some things that don't feel so comfortable to the ego so right in the middle of relaxing watching my videos I will suddenly say something that will step on the toes of your ego okay. and then it doesn't feel so good and, and I highly recommend to you to just meditate with it and go with the flow of a video of any video my video or any video but Donia Esperanza she is coming from the Catholic religion and that's okay I'm not struggling against it and she's praying and I guess the Christian God or something and Guadalupe and Jesus and the Holy Ghost and the Holy Spirit and whatever and the angels and whatever you know. so and it's all okay you know so she's asking for protection and that's okay you, know, you can be in any religion and ask for protection but if you are in a violent religion you can still ask for pro 
protection, like is in Islam, you can ask Allah for protection, right? but don't read something that says you need to go out and kill infidels. Okay, no, right there, that's war. Okay, and that's unacceptable. It's just unacceptable. It's not toler. It's not tolerated by the infinite cosmos. It is. That's that's a breach against against society, against the earth, okay, to force with violence a religion on others. So I don't. I don't force my view on others. I view what I view as a philosophy. I'm a philosopher. I listen to a lot of people, but what they have to say. I can say, okay, this makes sense, or this doesn't make sense, okay, and, and that's the that's how we move forward by by thinking critically and by evaluating whether something that we hear on the news or hear a religious person say, you know, whether that's true, you know, we have to actually. We have to investigate it. We have to find out whether that's true or false. Okay. Everyone has an inner child, and that inner child, if you if you quiet your mind, you can listen to that inner child. Okay. That brings up emotional pain from the past. I saw an amazing guy speak on YouTube yesterday. I was absolutely amazed what he had to say. An angel soul, very advanced angel soul. He quit all the drugs. He was even on heroin for a while. Now that's extremely Herculean to quit that. I don't know. Maybe only an angel soul can have can summon up this this enormous power and strength to quit that and to have this inner conviction that. This is a dead end street, literally. I don't know. Maybe that's what it is. But I'm not giving up on a stagnator soul either. I tell I tell every stagnator soul, you can do it too, whatever you're on, whatever drugs you're on, or alcohol or substances or religions that are violent, you can do a U-turn, you can step out of that, okay? You can, absolutely. Other people have done it. You can do it, but you have to want to do it. You have to see the urgency and the necessity of that. When you really understand the, the necessity of that, you can do it just as much as you can scramble yourself out of any dangerous situation whatever da dangerous situation you're in unless you're being tied to the ground by someone but the drugs they don't do that you know you can still say no you're still free when you when you take drugs you still can make that conscious choice of quitting it so it's very important to understand this. So Donya Esperanza is an energy healer. She's she is an advanced soul, and and her approach to all of this is through peace and love. And it wouldn't matter then what religion anyone is based on. You know there are some Muslims who are coming with peace and love too. I've seen this. I've seen it on YouTube, and I was very, very happy to see that there, there's, a, there's an animal lover, a Muslim who's an animal lover, who's in the Middle East somewhere, and he has a temple, and he preaches there, and he preaches kindness to animals. This is very rare, though. It's very rare. So, but this is very good for these people, okay? They need that. Or, for example, Father John Deere, you know, who is a Jesuit, and he comes from religion, very kind of yeah, rigid religion also. But he, for him, for him, he studied different religions <coughs> for his 
for him it was clear that he, I guess he grew up with that and then he became an agnostic or atheist for a while. <clears throat> And then he went back to it because he, he thought he needs to use this in order to teach animal rights and kindness to animals. And so he's coming through that door. He just uses that as a vehicle to, to reach these people, to reach that audience. This audience would never even see me because I'm not even in their... in their range of philosophical understanding of things or of the things that they're looking up on the internet. So that would be very, very rare if one of those people or any religious person comes across my channel and particularly if one of those people would come to my channel and say, hey, that makes sense, you know, so very, that would be very, very rare, okay, so, but that's okay, it's not a big deal. I make my videos anyway because I have time <laughs> and I figure, you know, I need to do it, okay, it's, it's good to do it, it's good to do it, doesn't hurt to do it, it, it just, it's, it's like, sending out sunbeams of love to the world it's good to do that okay and I recommend to everyone to do this to send out kindness to the world the world needs it desperately the world of humans I mean yeah and every animal who suffers through neurotic people okay so this world of humans that the world that's run by neurotic humans and the animals suffering under that the pigs and slaughter facilities okay it's just to to name one example okay? it's a horror what's happening because of greed and because of ego because of duality okay there is no duality between us and the pigs and all beings okay we are one unit People need to learn that, to understand this. They need to come to understand this, okay? Through meditation, through the inwardness process, okay? You guys take care. Bye-bye.